Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Um, you know, there is sometimes ideas come to your head. Like if Allah is a smart God, I mean, there's no way this God he is a stupid, right? So how come he is a stupid and he sent us a stupid ones to defend him? I mean, cannot he find someone smart? So today I'm going to show you some examples of how stupid lawyers of Allah trying to defend the stupid Allah. I mean, if Allah is smart, shouldn't he find the best of the lawyers? Here we have a friend here, our friend here, his name is Muhammad as Sayyid. Same. A question to ignorant prince. I like it when you say ignorant. Like, does that mean I do not know how to write, how to read like your prophet? So if we put in front of him the, name, the word donkey and his name, he will not know which is which? Is that what do you mean? Because you Muslim, you say the prophet was Ummi. And you claim that mean illiterate, ignorant. Yet you are calling me ignorant. So, you know, in the standard of Muslims, Muhammad is the best teacher for all universities in the world, but he don't have a degree. He don't even know how to read, even the name of his God. Hmm, interesting. So, a question to ignorant prince. If he was expert about Christianity, Judaism, and Islam, as he claimed, if the Trinity was real, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and Eternal, <laughs> Why all the prophets in the Old Testament as Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, David, Moses, says it should continue more because 124,000 prophets, your prophet said, what is the rest? You see, let us see who is the ignorant here. As long as your prophet, he named that, he, he gave a number, he did not name them. I mean, how stupid it is to say there's 124,000 prophets. Can you name for me just a thousand of them? A hundred. Your Quran have a names of 24, right? So what it happened to the 124,000 prophet? Count them, let us see who is the ignorant. Hmm. Okay. How come those prophet David, Moses, etc. do not know or mention that in any place in Old Testament? Well, thank you very much for saying that because you just proved to me that Islam is made by a fraud. Guys, did you see what he said? Actually, if you remember, there's a, a kid, his name is uh, Mimi. He was copying another kid, his name is Didat. He was debating another Christian saying his name is David. He says to him, not a single verse in the Bible, in the Old Testament, believe. Except by one God. And then he says, Elijah, I mean, uh, God is, you know, Elijah, you remember what he said? Hmm. Just to show you how stupid those people are. They copy from each other. Well, isn't it your Quran, you idiot? Say that the Jews, they worship a man. His name is Uzairi, is the son of Allah. Not a single verse in the Old Testament says that. So the Quran is a liar. وَقَالَتُ الْيَهُودُ أَوْزَيْرٌ إِبْنُ اللَّهِ But you just said not a single prophet before that he said that. The Jews don't believe in that. So your stupid Quran was quoting what? A fiction? This is your comment, not mine. So don't cry for it. Read carefully with me. Why all the prophet in the Old Testament as Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, David, Moses did not mention it? Why the Old Testament did not mention the doctrine of Trinity, explicitly and clear in holy book? Okay, well, hold on, I will ask you the same question. Where we can find the word Tawheed in the Quran? Explicitly. Actually, we can find in the Quran, it says, uh, in the chapter of al anbiya that if Allah he want to take a partner he will take it from ourself look how you want to take a partner from ourself if Allah is explicitly clear he is one solve this problem for me so when your silly Quran says that the Jews they worship a person his name is Uzair they say he is the son of God well, that's mean the Quran just admitted that the Jews before the Christian believe there is someone, he is the son of God. And at the same time, you idiot, 
it's me who should ask you the same question how come in the Quran we don't find the stories okay where is the book where is the book of Jacob in the Quran okay Jacob is a prophet okay where is his book what Jacob he said who is Jacob anyway Jacob suddenly became Israel in the Quran without introduction. We do not know who is Israel. If you check the whole Quran, you will not find how Jacob became a new person. His name is Israel. Okay, where is the book of Moses in the Quran? So we can see if Moses mentioned that or not. Because don't you Muslim you say that the Old Testament is corrupted. And as long as there is nowhere in the Old Testament, as you said, mention the Trinity. So how, what we will do with the book of Genesis as an example, where it says God and his spirit. Before he created everything, there's God and his spirit, right? Okay. And God, he came to Abraham as a man. Okay. And God, he said in the book that he created Adam in his image. Which image is that? <laughs> So it is you who is silly and you are following a silly prophet and you are going against your Quran where your Quran saying something very silly that the Jews, they worship a guy, his name is Uzair, not Ezra. This is a false translation. The Muslim, they could not find the name close to the Uzair except say Ezra. Well, there's a huge difference between Uzair and Ezra. And you, can you show me where in the Old Testament it says they worship a guy, his name is Israel? Go ahead. Go ahead, show me. And then the Muslims, in order, the Mohammedan, in order to solve this problem, they say there was one Jew, only one Jew. So why it says the Jews? Did Allah choose the wrong word? There's only one Jew? He did that? Uh, this is why we can't find it in the Torah, because only one Jew. But it says the Jews, the Jews, idiot. From the beginning in the Old Testament, we find that God has a spirit. Muslims, their God have no spirit. He have no spirit. He's not a spirit. And he have no spirit. You can go right now, search in Google, do Allah have a spirit? A Muslim who got busted by me, he went to the Muslim scholars in their website asking them, do Allah have a spirit? I was talking to a Christian. And he's asking them. Does Allah have a spirit? Let me find you the fatwa. If I lose uh, my connection because, you know, we have a bad weather, let me know. Okay, read with me carefully. Hmm. He is debating with a Christian. Does God have a spirit? Where we are reading Islam, answer and questions. Those are your scholars, supposedly. Okay, does Allah have a spirit? The answer is no. No, he don't. A spirit or a soul, not an attribute of Allah. Rather, it is one of his the things he created. Okay, wonderful. The God of the Old Testament from the beginning said, he have a spirit. There's tons of verses in the Bible speaking about God's spirit, which is the Holy Spirit. What happened to the Holy Spirit in Islam? It became Jibreel. <laughs> and the funny, the Muslim, they say that Jesus, he said, I will send the Comforter. And they say, this is Muhammad. But it says in the Bible that this is the Holy Spirit. It says clearly the Holy Ghost, I will send with you the Holy Ghost who will stay with you forever, everlasting. So, the hypocrite Muhammadan, when they want the Holy Spirit is Jibreel, when they want the Holy Spirit is Muhammad. And suddenly Muhammad became a spirit himself. He is not a physical being no more. This is why I say that Allah is a stupid God. And he sent us a stupid lawyers to defend him. 
And this is why I say to Christians, when a Muslim, he says to you, we worship the same God, say to him, well, our God is a spirit, is yours a spirit? Very easy. I mean, it, it, it takes two seconds to destroy the, the, the claim. And by the way, most of those Abdul, they don't know that Allah is not a spirit. If you remember, there's a guy from Morocco, he's 50 years old. He, you know, he pray every day in the mosque in Morocco. He said to me, who said to you that Allah has no spirit? And then he called me 15 minutes after. He says, yes, you are right. 50 years old, idiot, praying to a God who do not know the nature of this God. He thinks this God has a spirit because obviously you were praying to wrong God all your life. It's the same as people of Indonesia. They were praying to the direction of Somalia, thinking it is the Kaaba direction for more than a thousand years. And Allah did not send them a warner and tell the American they created the GPS. If not the American GPS, you Indonesian Muslims, you are praying to Somalia. Praise be Somalia. Allah is there. So when a Muhammad and he made a comment, we laugh at them. Your comment is not even a comment. It's a comedy. Let us see the second comment. All right. <clears throat> okay, the same uh, person. We will take the same person first. Uh, silly uh, polarization thing that Jesus said before Abraham I was as evidence of Jesus' deity. Hmm. Okay. But those naives don't understand that the true meaning of saying that Jesus meant I was existing God knowledge and wisdom before Abraham. Mm -hmm. They did not notice if Jesus talking it, it was talking as God, he wouldn't put himself in a comparison with Abraham. Where he compare himself to Abraham? How he compare himself to Abraham? Jesus, he said, I am the God of Abraham in that verse. You are an idiot. You are stupid. And you're a liar. And then who's supposed to be human, that he is created by Jesus as a Christians believe. Prophet Muhammad said a similar word. He said, I was a prophet when Adam was between mud and water. Pathetic. Okay, hold on. You see, it is you who quote your prophet saying that. I was a prophet when Adam was between mud and water? But isn't it Adam is a prophet in Islam? So we have two prophets in the same day? And when your prophet Muhammad, he says such a statement, isn't it proof that he is a stupid crazy? When Jesus says before Abraham, I am, this is existence, and not only that, he is saying the word I am, which is in the Bible, where each time God, he speak about himself, he say, I am. As an example, if you go to Isaiah, you are asking me about the Old Testament. If you go to Isaiah chapter 41, verse number four, it says, I, the Lord, the first, and with the last, I am he. Same in Isaiah chapter 43. Actually, in chapter 43, I think it mentioned twice or three times. Isaiah 52, Isaiah 46, Isaiah 48. We can pull up those verses. And Jesus in John chapter 9, verse number 9, he said exactly what the Old Testament said. He said, I am he. So you will believe that I am he. In John 8, verse 28, it says that then you shall know that I am he. He who? And actually, he have another comment. Let me see if I saved it. 
to continue this. Here we go. Actually, no, wait, hold on. There's another one. I think I miss it because I saw it in the comment section. <clears throat> Let me go to the comment section. All right, hold on. All right. Here an example of how Muhammad and they try to fool you by quoting the Bible and the Bible says even the devil can quote the Bible why not so he said here well okay Abraham means make Jesus as God why and they quote for us from the book of Prophet 8 verse number 22 to 30 it says that he was with God from since eternity before creation you know here you see that when we speak about the Muslims trying to refute us not only we laugh at their answers we laugh at their God again because you can't even read words in front of you if we go right now you will see you idiot you donkey that this is speaking about wisdom that I am the wisdom of God is exist from the beginning idiot this is not about Abraham I mean do you know even how to read or oh, I forgot like you are you are the same as your prophet I will go right now in the front of everybody and I will show the verses you are the one who quote for us and let us see if this is about Abraham people will laugh at you very embarrassing very stupid but I am not surprised you are following Muhammad what I can see read carefully doth not doth not wisdom cry let me play it let me play the sound hold on so you can cry more. Proverbs 8. Hmm. Doth not wisdom cry, and understanding put forth her voice? She standeth in the top of high places, by the way in the places of the paths. She crieth at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the doors. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. O ye simple! Understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing froward or perverse in them. They are all plain to him that understandeth, well done. and right just to show you how stupid you are. So why you are saying, Abraham saying he was exist from the beginning, when he is, the verse is speaking about wisdom, the wisdom of God. Why you are a liar? All of this is about wisdom, the wisdom of God. When God, he prepared the heaven, I was there. When he set the compass upon the face of the depth, the wisdom of God is there. For God is wise, not like your God foolish. He think that the baby created from water coming from the ribs of the women. God is not a fool. Your God is. So this is about wisdom. And you, because you are a liar, you make it about Abraham. But why I'm not surprised? I will not be surprised. You are a Mohammedan and you try always to deceive, following the deceiver Allah. Then we go to the other comment. Here is speaking about Jesus. If Jesus is God, then how he pray? And look what he says. All people know that word prayer means submitting to higher authority. Guys, take a, take a note. All people know. All, all, all. Okay. So how come you Muslim, you say Allah pray for, not to? And as long you are saying, submitting to higher authority. And this is what the word prayer means. So when Allah, he pray on Muhammad, you said in your comment 
that Allah pray upon Muhammad. He pray where? Upon Muhammad. Let me go and find your comment. So people, they will die laughing. Supposedly he did fix it, but yet he made it blind. Let me find the comment. Give me a second. Hold on. Um, Allah, he pray upon Muhammad. Okay. I like that. I'm trying to find the comment. And I'm so glad that the Christians, they are, you know, give them the spank they deserve in their comment. They are doing a great job. I like that. Um, okay, let us see. Here we go. I don't know. I, I I I don't know who you are, but if I am you, I'm going to frame this. Here we go. I take a smile. You know, we made you famous. Here we go. This is your comment. And actually, I told you in that in the comment there section, don't try to delete it because I took a screenshot of it. Guys, read carefully. Muhammad al Sayyid is answering Adil saying to him, exactly ignorant as your prince, Quran never say pray for or to. That is a worship, but Quran say pray upon. Did you, did, like, did you fix it now? So Allah, he was praying upon. Allah was praying upon. Pray to, I mean, who care? Pray for or to? Allah pray upon to, to, to what? You see, the word in Arabic is clear. Like, you know, when we read the Bible translation, they use the word pray. But the word pray in the Bible is not, as a translation in English, is not too much accurate. As an example, uh, you know, uh, the first, uh, at, uh, I think, first Thessaloniki, yeah, I will find the verse where it says you have to be praying continually, like never stop. Okay, but how you can pray never stop? It's a vow, not prayer. You have to be consistent in your faith. Otherwise, there's nobody can all his life just praying. He don't eat, he don't drink, he don't do anything. Here you just said that Allah, he pray upon Muhammad. Okay, he pray to whom? As long you are the one who said that prayer is a supplication to higher authority. It is you who said that, not me. Prayer is a supplication to higher authority. Do you see it? This is your word. The word prayer means submitting to higher authority. Okay, what is the word Allah he used when he say, Allahu wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi Salah. Okay, what the word salah in Arabic? Pray. How you Muslim translate it? You say blessing. But the verse defeats such a clean. Why? Because first the word prayer does not mean blessing. You know, the word in Arabic is barak. You barakum barak. This is blessing. Prayer is always mean. You know, if I ask any Muslim, what what is the word prayer? He say salah. What is the verb? You say so you salli. Okay. Allah he do what? You salli. On who? On Muhammad. How you explain it? You say he's he is a praying upon. This is your uh, this is your words. Praying upon. Not mine. Okay. So Allah he pray upon Muhammad. Okay. Allah and okay, read carefully, guys. 
Pray of God upon mean praises his prophet. The prophet is praised by Allah. You Muslims worship who exactly? Do you worship Allah or you worship Muhammad? Because as I know, it is Muhammad should be praising Allah, not Allah praising Muhammad. Ah, I forgot that you Muslims worship Muhammad as God. This is why his name means the praised one. If Muhammad is the praised one, who is the praised two? The Muhammadan are kuffar. They are mushrikeen. They are fake believers. They change the name of their prophet from Qatham to Muhammad, the praised one. So if Muhammad is the praised one and Allah is praising his prophet, so who is the God? Who is the God here? You see, when I say stupidity is amazing, it is amazing. Why God he prays a sinner man? Isn't it the Quran he says, may Allah forgive your sin? And again, what kind of Allah he says, may Allah forgive your sin? So how Allah he prays the sinner? For what, for his sin? Huh? When Allah He say in the Quran, may Allah forgive your sin. Let us go there. Allah was praising the sinner Muhammad. Is a sinner to be praised by God? And what the word praise mean? Are you listening to me, my friend? Yeah, first as a three on your you are right. Uh, uh, five seventeen, correct. Yeah, sometime your memory, you know. Yeah. Actually let me pull it up. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here you see it says pray without ceasing. Never stop. Never, never, never. But how you can do that? That is a vow. A vow to be consistent in your faith, in your act, in your behave. That is a prayer. The word prayer in the Bible is translation of a Greek language, which is not always accurate to come as the word pray. As an example, when Jesus said, and here we will go to the praise. Jesus said, the Father, he glorified the Son. But just because he is the Son, otherwise how God can glorify a man? See, when God, he glorified the Son, that makes sense. God, he glorified the Son. God the Father, and God the Son, He glorify the Father. Let us show you some verses. John chapter 17, verse number 5, John 8, to, uh, 54, okay, etc. Let us see. So when you Muslim, you say that Allah, he praised Muhammad. Well, who is Muhammad to be praised by Allah? When Jesus, he say that, and now, O Father, glorify thou with me, though me, with thine your own. You can read any translation, make it easier for you. And now, Father, glorify thou me. The Father, he glorify Jesus. As what? As a son. That is a prayer. So he asked, okay, if Jesus is God, how he pray? 
Okay, the son glorifying the father is a prayer. It's a form of talk between the son and the father because it's holy talk. The father glorifying the son is a holy talk. Everything God, he says, is a prayer in the mean of holiness, not God submitting to somebody else. But when you're God and you are the one who have in your, his own, your own understanding that when somebody pray, it's a submitting to higher authority. But as you see here, the son glorified the father and the, glor the father, he glorified the son. So when the son, he speak to the father, that is a prayer. What he's doing? Glorifying the father. Okay, when the father, he speak to the son, he is speaking holiness. But it's not a submitting of a wish. He's glorified already. It's not like I wish to glorify you. If we go to the Quran, you will see that says, Allahu wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. And even is asking the Muslims to do the same. So if Allah is the one who glorify Muhammad, okay, Muhammad is glorified already. He do not need the people to glorify him. And if Allah is asking the people to glorify Muhammad, that means Allah is committing shirk because Muslims should not glorify any save God. Christians, if they glorify Jesus because they are people who believe the Trinity, even the Father, he glorified Jesus. And the Son, he glorified the Father. But the Christian didn't glorify a man. They glorify Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Glory to you, Lord. There's no glory to any except God. All the glory is belong to God. So when you say that Allah is praising a man, his name is Muhammad, and the Quran says that he is a big time sinner, that is the most stupid statement to say. And the Quran confirmed that Muhammad is a big time sinner, very filthy sinner. So how Allah, he glorify a sinner for his sin? Is a human being glorified for his sin? And Allah not only I you know not only saying I may forgive he's saying that Allah may forgive okay how Allah this is a prayer guys look with me the Abdul he said prayer is submitting to higher authority did he say that or I'm making things up. Read carefully. All people knows, this is what he said. All people knows, especially Muslims knows. I mean, who knows more than the Muslims? All people know that the word prayer means submitting to higher authority. Wonderful. So if Jesus was uh, a politician, politician, falsely claim God, then who come, oh sorry, whom he is praying, he mean praying to? I can pray for myself. No, you cannot. Here you got yourself busted. For us, we believe the Trinity. The Son glorified the Father, the Father glorified the Son. That is the conversation between the Father and the Son. But now we have in the Quran a problem. How the Quran says, may Allah forgive your sin. That is a supplication to higher authority. Who is the one asking Allah to forgive to Muhammad? You will say to me, Allah. Okay, how many Allah you have? If the one is talking, his name is Allah. And then Allah, he says that Allah may forgive thee. That is a wish and that is a prayer. Are you there, my friend, the one who was trying to defend? If you like to call me, I will open Paltor just for you. Be the man. That Allah may forgive thee. It's a wish. 
Okay, who is talking Allah? Allah is sending his wish to who? Any Muslim? Allah, he sent his wish to who? This is supplication. Okay, I will send a, a petition to the government. Let us say you are a person, uh, you know, uh, you need the government to do something, higher authority. Okay, Allah is saying, may Allah say, who is talking and who is talking to who? Obviously, we know who is talking to who. He's talking to Allah. Okay, but who is talking to Allah? So Allah is asking Allah, maybe you forgive Muhammad for his sin. Does that make any sense to you? If Allah is one God, then Allah should say, your sin is forgiven. Who? He will say, your sin is forgiven. The Quran says, Who is the one who forgives sin save Allah? What the Quran says? Okay, who is the one who will forgive sin except Allah? Nobody. So how Allah is asking Allah to forgive sin of Muhammad? Allah speaking to himself? Any Muhammadan? Anyone? If we go to chapter 3, and the funny, this is the chapter supposedly about Jesus, and suddenly in the Quran, Jesus became from the family of Amran. But Amran is the father of Moses. Oh, I forgot Muhammad, he called Jesus, the, the, he, you know, Mary, she is the sister of Moses, she is the sister of Umran. So if we go to the funny Quran, keep this one here. And we go to different verse. Chapter 3, verse number 135. And those who, when they do an evil thing, or wrong themselves, remember Allah and implore forgiveness for their sin. Who forgives sin save Allah only? That's wonderful. Okay, nobody beside Allah forgives sin, even though we know that Jesus in the Bible said, go and your sin is forgiven. <laughs> And the Muslims, they say to you, where Jesus says he claimed to be God. Well, if he's just a prophet, he don't forgive sin. And your stupid Quran saying, who forgives sin save Allah? Yet we find the Quran saying that there is a God, his name is Allah, asking different God, his name is Allah, to maybe forgive the sin of Muhammad in the past and in the future to come. Any Muhammadan can solve this problem for us? Do we have any Muslim here he can solve the problem? If nobody can, you know, nobody can forgive sin except Allah, and then Allah, he said to Allah, may Allah forgive your sin. Allah speaking to who? Do you Muslim believe in the Trinity as an example that there's Allah the Father, Allah the Son, Allah the Holy Spirit? No. So what is this? I will tell you. This is the liar Muhammad making a, 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 a statement. It's him who's talking. It's obvious. It's a, it's a man asking God for forgiveness. 
Is it obvious? This is not Allah talking. This is a man talking. So Muhammad the fabricator claimed that he is a prophet of God. And this is the verse coming from God. So God said to God, may God forgive the sin of Muhammad. Are you with me, Muhammadan? Your God, he said to God, may God forgive Muhammad. How that work for you? What happened to the oneness of God? Any Muslim? What happened to the oneness of God? It's gone. In the same time, when we read the Quran and the Quran saying, who forgives sin save Allah? Jesus. Allah cannot forgive sin. We just prove it to you. Allah, if he can forgive sin, he will say to Muhammad, your sin is forgiven. The proof is in front of you. Uh, we have a Muslim, his name is Palm of Paradise, saying, CP is a blind leading the blind. I like this statement, my friend. I like it. So Muhammad did not know how to write, how to read, ignorant, illiterate, as you Muslims call him. He is leading who? The one whose their eyes is open? And the one whose eyes is open, his name is Muhammad. He said to you that in heaven there's women, their boobs is so big. And Allah will make your private part endless penis. And you are talking about blind leading the blind. And he made you believe that there's women in heaven, they are lined up for sex and their legs is making victory sign. And before you finish with the first one, the angel, he will wrap in your shoulder. He says, stop. There's a smoke is coming from her private part. Change her. And you are talking about blind leading the blind. I mean, who is in the world can believe in such a garbage? Unless not only, I mean, blind is not, blind people are smart people. Blind is very smart. You see, when somebody is blind, God, he gave him other gift. He enriched him. He can recognize people by their voices. He can recognize his way, even if he is blind. But you Muslims, how you recognize your face? You, you, how you can recognize anything? What kind of God he promised me heaven, and your name is Par a Palm of Paradise. And your prophet says that the penis of a Muslim man will be an endless palm tree. Do you want to show you the hadith? Your name is Palm. You should hate Palm from now on, because each time you see it, you remember your penis in the paradise. This is God promises in this palm tree penis. Oh, okay. Sorry, palm. I, I, I get you wrong then. Friendly fire. <laughs> I thought, I don't know. Any Muslim want to say anything? And then they say to you, okay, uh, there's a comment. Hold on. Let me go to the comment section again. Um, actually, I don't know who is this gentleman. His name is Adil Khan. I like him. He's a smart. Look what Adil Khan he is saying. Adil Khan is like, psh, it's giving him the spank he deserved. Muhammad Sayyid, you just said Allah pray upon. How fool you are. Can, you can understand simple language, but who Allah praying to? I mean, who cares if he's praying upon or praying for? <laughs> So when you say how come God he prayed to himself, you're a funny person. Hmm? Read carefully. Well, that is support actually that the Christians are right, that there's a person, his name is Jesus. There's a person, his name is the Father. There's a person, his name is the Holy Spirit. And they talk to each other. Otherwise, they should not be talking. Do you understand? If they are one person, but we have a three person, but at the same time, 
Allah is a one person according to you. Allah is saying, may Allah forgive your sins. Speaking to who? Let us see more comments. <clears throat> oh, then this one. Okay, we saw this one. Let us delete those comments so they will not appear for us on the screen again. <clears throat> I mean, the comment of the Mohammedan is really hilarious. But they are fun. You know, we have to admit they are fun. All right, let us see more comments. We deleted them so they will not appear in our way. <clears throat> ah, and when he said about Abraham, and he said where in the Old Testament it's mentioned that, well, Jesus himself, he quoted the Old Testament and he got you busted. If we go in the Old Testament and in the New Testament, you will see the following. Because the same person he mentioned that Jesus is mentioned to be from descendant from uh, David, right? So look what it says here. <clears throat> but concerning the resurrection of the dead, have you not read what is spoken by you to you by God, who said, "I am the living God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob." And remember, you are the one who mentioned those names, right? Okay, then the Pharisees, they said to him, but when the Pharisees heard that he had silenced, you know, those people, and they decided to see what we can do with this person, how we can refute him. And one of them he knew, the written law asked him, a rabbi, he said to him, teacher, what is the commandment? And this is what you must have you quote in the text, remember, in the comment section, that Jesus said, and you quote for us, that Jesus said, uh, uh, worship your God alone. Okay, but they were asking a question. They're asking him, what is the most, like if me asking God, God, what is the most important commandment for, uh, commands for you? Uh, God said to me, uh, you shall love your Lord. Okay, so that is a command. So what is the greatest command? Yeshua, he said to him, you shall love your Lord Jehovah, your God, from all your heart, and from all your soul, from your oral power, etc. And then, you know, uh, and from all your uh, your mind, and this is a great, com uh, the great of the first commandment, and the second, which is like is you shall love your neighbor as yourself and here you see the teaching of Islam far away from the teaching of Jesus you know Jesus says even not only love your neighbors you love your enemy but as the Pharisees assembled Yeshua asked them and he said what do you say of the Messiah who is son is he remember Jesus keeps saying my father my father my father who is in heaven okay and he is the Messiah himself so he's asking the rabbis, who is the Messiah? What do you say about him? And he made it specific. He is a son of who? The Muslim, they will go and say, okay, hold on. In the New Testament, it says that Jesus is born of Mary, born of etc., born, 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 all the way to David. This is according to the law, by the, by the body, by the nature. So this is not wrong. But Jesus telling you here something very important. The Jews, they said, he is the son of David. He is who? He is a son of David. He said to them, How and then how did David by spirit call him God Jehovah? It isn't you who said to me in that comment, where the old testament speaking about Jesus the Son. From the first beginning of the book of Genesis, actually, if you go to Genesis number five, you will see even the names of the prophets or the sons of, sorry, Adams, 
they present the story of Jesus coming back, coming down. So here it says, Jesus is speaking. This is not Luke. This is not Mark. This is this is Christ Himself speaking. This is not an opinion. That is a conversation happening between Christ and the rabbi. Who is Christ? You think son of who? And look, he did not just say who is a Christ. He is asking he is a son of who? Anyone who is a Jew, he would be so proud to be considered a son of David. This is the most powerful king they have in their history. Jesus, he did not like it. It's wrong. Yes, by birth he is. By birth he is born of a woman. Her name is Mary. But he is not the son of David. He is a son of God. So look what he said. Well, if this is true, then how did David by spirit, and here call carefully, by spirit, call him the Lord Jehovah, for he said, The Lord Jehovah said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet. And that is Muhammad, will be under the feet of Jesus. And the devil will be under the feet of Jesus. And every evil creature will be under the feet of Jesus. And you idiot, you say to me, where is in the Old Testament? Jesus is quoting the Old Testament. And then he said to them, if therefore David call him the Lord Jehovah, how is he his son? The funny, the Muslim, they said, well, in the Bible, we should have a very clear place where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. Who knew you would go, you saying that? I mean, how clear we can make it more than this? We should have a clear verse saying clearly, worship me. Here we go, Jesus saying that you're David, you're king. He worshiped me. He called me the Lord Jehovah. He's talking about who? He's talking about Christ. And who's Christ? Jesus. And no man could give him an answer. Can you, Muslims? Muhammad, and can you? You cannot. Can you refute Jesus? Uh, Fox lady, she is being smart, supposedly. She is saying this. Yeah, they are trying to change our topic, but no problem. She's foxy. I always like foxy people. Hmm. I don't know what this has to do with our topic. There's some people, they are, they are suffering from flight of thought. You know, they, you know, they don't like what we are saying. So, okay, let's change the topic. But let me show you how silly you are. A man, he slept with the women. That woman, nobody will marry her no more. They did not rape her, you know. If a man, he sleep with a virgin. If a man, he sleep with the women. Actually, if we go to the verses you are quoting for us, you will see how people, I mean, I cannot even believe it. How people, they are trying to quote for us. Those verses. Let me open the verse. And then she will be sorry for quoting them. And she will say, oh, you know, I'm not really too much smart. Let us go there. <clears throat> All right. She said Exodus 22, right? Okay. I'm going to Exodus 22. And verse 16 and 17.
And just to show you, we are reading the, exactly what you are asking. The verses you quoted for us. 22, you see it in the screen? We go down, you said 16 and 17. Where is the quotation you are quoting? Where is the quotation? What you are saying, it says in your quotation, that if a man he sleep with a virgin, then either he marry her or he pay the money. So you are making your own statement now. Here it says, if her father refuse, okay, what they can do? What they can do? But all of us, we knew that because you are a hypocrite, you did not quote that a person who do such a thing with the women, if he rape her, he is going to be killed. So obviously those two, they are just having sex. The law is trying to help the girl. So the man, he don't use her and throw her after he used her. Nobody will marry her. If the father of the girl, he refused to marry her, well, the man who he had sex with the women, he did not rape her. He tried to follow the law and said, okay, I commit sin, I'm wrong. I want to marry this woman to fix my, you know, she's, she stepped with me. It's not only I step with her. And I want to marry her to fix it. Then the father, the family, they refused. What he would do? He would kill the father. So you are being very, very silly. And you are saying this is exchange for sex. You are just a stupid. And remember here that the law we are talking about here is a law exists before at, at that time when they have this law, you used to eat each other alive. Human being, they used to eat a human. So when people have no law, those people, they have a law for every single detail. Very hypocrite people. Is that an exit sense for sex? Why? It says if a man he slept with the women pay her. This is muta in Islam. There's no muta here. The man he should marry her. It's not up to him to marry her or not. He have to marry her, otherwise he will be killed. But at the end of the day, the girl and her family, they have to accept. If they refuse. So what the man he can do more? Still he have to pay her as a dowry, which means that would be considered as if she is married. Very stupid people. So they try always to take you away from your topic because it's embarrassing to defend Islam. And they think by quoting those things, it is going to be embarrassing for us. You are stupid and you are ignorant. When this law is exist, you people used to eat each other alive. When this law is exist, there was no law. Muhammad who came thousands of years after that, he said, you can have sex with the women if you just pay her. Do muta. This is not muta. This is not Muta. The man, he been ordered to marry her. But you cannot force the girl to marry the man. But in Islam you do. In Islam, until now, I can go right now to Google. If a man, he rape a woman, he rape her, not like this guy, he step with her, which means they agree, both of them. If a man, he rape a woman, they force the woman to marry a guy. Uh, in the Quran, there's uh, 100 lashes for, okay, I will go with you. Okay, hold on, Foxy. Guys, be my witness. Be my witness. If a man, I just, I just, show, you see, you are quoting one verse from the Bible, but you are not quoting the rest. Because yes, there is punishment 
for a person who did not do you know who, who lay down with the women and you are not quoting everything and I will show you the rest of the verses but just to show you how stupid your defense is look what you just said and I want everybody to be the witness why I say Islam is defended by silly people in Quran chapter 42 verse number 2 there is a hundred lashes for sex outside marriage and in the Bible there is no punishment are you willing to call me right now and challenge me and I will show you that in Islam there is no punishment for rape guys why why somebody deleted her uh, uh, comment Tabby okay I'm asking her I'm answering her why delete her uh, comment admin don't delete somebody I'm talking to why you do that so how are we going we take a photo of, uh, of her uh, uh, text now I will challenge you to be consistent out of marriage in Islam there's 100 lashes okay Muhammad have sex with Sophia without marriage Muhammad he have sex with Maria the cook without marriage Muhammad have sex with tens of women without marriage. Where is the two, two, the one hundred lashes to Muhammad? Secondly, where is the punishment for rape? If we go in the Bible, we will find tons of verses speaking about punishment for having sex out of marriage. Number one punishment, you will go to hell. In Islam, you don't go to hell for sex out of marriage. Is that true? I don't know if now she can post because our admin was fantastic and he deleted their messages. I don't know if she, you know, did you hide her? Why you do that? Let me show you the hypocrisy of those people. In the Bible, it says clearly first, if a woman, she is married and she have sex out of marriage, she will be stoned to death. Where is that verse in the Quran? We don't find it. And let us see how the hypocrite they act. Who is the one who have punishment and who is the one who don't? All right. Let us see. All those verses is about punishment for sex out of marriage. Where we can find such a thing in the Quran? Where is the morality? Where is your morality? If a man he lay down with his daughter-in-law, is that Muhammad sleeping with Zainab ibn Jahsh, his daughter-in-law? According to the Bible, both of them, they should be put to death. So if Muhammad was exist in the time of Moses or after, Muhammad and his fornicator, Zainab, they should be put to death. But Muhammad, he made it legal. Hmm. If a man also lie with a mankind, with a mankind as he lied with a woman, both of them should commit it or abomination, etc., and they should put to death. Okay, where we can find this verse in the Quran? Where we can find such an, such anything equal to this? Nowhere. If a man take a wife of her uh, 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 a wife, and her mother is a, a wickedness, uh, look at this burning. Look how severe the the punishment. And you are talking about morality. If a man lie with a beast, the punishment. Okay. If a man, if a woman approach into any beast, the punishment. If a man shall take his sister, shall I show you right now that there's no punishment in Islam if a Muslim man he slept with his sister? Shall I show you? Even his mother? Where is the punishment in the Quran for a Muslim sleeping with his mother? Nowhere. It says it's forbidden for you. However, if we go to the Quran, you will find this. 
Let me show you the verses. That a Muslim man, he can have sex with his sister if she is a sister, sorry, his daughter, if she is daughter from adultery. And I will make you read with your own eyes. Then you are talking about morality in Islam, having sex with your own daughter. Aren't you Muslim? You say that Lot, he have sex with his daughter? Well, Lot, daughters, they have sex with their father. It's not God who said that to them. They commit sin. In Islam, the sin is allowed. Read carefully. I will use Google Translation. And you tell me what kind of religion we are talking about. This is the official government of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Let me move it here. Okay, hold on. Are you there, Foxy? Can Foxy text now or the admin did his job and blocked the poor Muslim women who have no idea what she is talking about? Foxy, are you there? Or is the punishment? God, he punished him. David, he was a crying. First of all, he's a king who was going to punish him. He was stupid. But God, he condemned him. And the story of David is in your Quran, you stupid. Why, why Allah did not condemn David? Show me. Just to show you how stupid those people are. The story of David having sex with a woman she is not his is in your book. So let me ask you the same question. Why are you changing topic? Why are you are jumping like a monkey from a place to place? Because you are a monkey. You are ashamed. Shouldn't we finish the first topic? What kind of God he have no law to punish somebody for sleeping with his daughter? Instead, he's saying, yes, if she is your daughter and she is the daughter from a daughter, you can have sex with her. And the story of David is in the Quran, you idiot. And you Muslims agree that David, he killed a man and he slept with his wife. So why Allah did not punish him? Instead, Allah glorifying David. But David in the Bible, he asked God for forgiveness. He cried asking God for forgiveness. Where is the cry of David in the Quran? In Islam, he did not commit sex out of marriage? Okay, hold on. There we go. In a second, everybody will laugh at you. You are just a dummy, like your prophet. In Islam, guys, eh, we will take selfie for you. You have a lot of selfie in my shelf now. Welcome to the cooking section. You don't want me to show you that you can have sex with your daughter? You don't want to see it? Here we go. Let me give the link. Guys, this is the official government website, and we will go to David. Every one of you can open it and can use Google Translation. And if you know Arabic, you do not need Google Translation. You will see it says that according to Allah teaching and the most accurate of religion, if there is no relationship by marriage, فَلَا يُحَرَّمُ الزِّنَا بِنْتُ أُمْ وَلَا أُمُّ بِنْتُ وَمَا يُحَرَّمُ مِنَ الْحَلَالِ لَا يُحَرَّمُ الْحَرَامِ وَلِذَلِكَ لَمْ يَدْخُلْ تَحْتَ قَوْلِهِ حُرِّمَتْ عَلَيْكُمْ أُمَّهَاتُكُمْ It's not considered under the statement in the Quran. It's forbidden for you, your mother and your daughter. Why? Because she is daughter of him as daughter. She is not, according to Islam, a daughter. So she is not forbidden for him to have sex with the mother and the daughter of the mother. Let us show it in English and now we will go to David to show you the story of David in Islam and you are a stupid idiot like your prophet. Hmm. Here we go. According to the matter of Sharia, Allah, he made relationship by marriage. A lineage referred to mixing of water between male and female, the manner of Sharia, as it was sin. It was absolute creation and it was not established lineage. So if a man have sex with you and you are not his wife, this is only sin, right? 
Okay, it's not marriage and it's not established lineage. So in Islam, a daughter or a son from a daughter is not a son. Therefore, does not come under saying your mother and your daughter as forbidden for you for a daughter from adultery because it is not halal you know the, here the, the translation coming as sin according to the most accurate of our scholar and according to the religion all the view of religion and the sharia if it's not from the knowledge it's not forbidden to have sex with a daughter from adultery and the mother of the daughter. Do you see it? So now we get you busted with the first one. Let us go and see the second one. Hold on. About David. <laughs> oh, stupidity is amazing. And now she will say to me, ah, this is not true. This is not a true brother. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Let us find the story. This is, this is why they don't dare to debate me because whatever they say, it's, they forgot that their prophet is just a scam. He is just copying stories from the Jews. Uh, let us see. <clears throat> Are you Shia or Sunni? Because I can show you from both books, Shia and Sunni. All right. Let us see. Um, just give me a, a minute. So I'm trying to show, you know, to find the reference. All right. Now she would wish she did not mention it. Yeah, have patience with me, guys, because I hate to uh, to mention something without showing a reference. You know them. They will say, "Oh, where the, where is the story?" Hmm? You mentioned the story. Where is the story? We show them to them in the screen. Still, they say you're lying. So imagine if we mention it and we don't show them the proof. And the proof will come from the Quran and from the interpretation of the Muslims. Okay. Here we go. Let us put it for you on the screen and everybody will laugh in a second.
the official government website of Jordan. Here we go. Are you there, lady? This is your book, and this is your Quran, and this is your interpretation. I will put it for you on the screen. Let us see. And now what she will say? Is she, is she going to stand against the Quran? Is, is she going to be honest and say this is disgusting? Because remember, it was disgusting when David he did in the Bible, right? Is that disgusting when David he did that in the Quran? And according to Muslim stories? I will see in a second. I'm trying to open it in Google Translate, a Google page, so we can use Google Translation. It's taking time. Come on. This website owned by the King of Jordan, and that explains why nothing worked there. Okay, maybe finally it's working. Here we go. Finally, took it maybe 15, 20 minutes to open. All right. So, uh, lady, here we go. I will put it on the screen. As you see, this is a chapter. Thirty-eight, verse number 23 and this is the official government website of the kingdom of Jordan and this is Tafsir al-Qurtubi so don't tell me we don't have David in Islam committing sex out of marriage let us read carefully okay it says here from from Sufyan, from 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 that's Ibn Abbas, he said, etc., etc., etc. Okay, and then he says uh, the following uh, A beautiful bird came to David as perfect bird, and he was walking like between his hand, which means like a close to him. And when he tried to grab him, like he jumped away to a window. And then when he tried to get it closer, he saw a woman and she was taking a shower. She's naked. When she saw him, she covered her body and her head with her hair. She must be a mermaid. I mean, how much hair she have to cover all her body by her hair. Okay. And then as Saddi continues saying, and Ibn Abbas said, and her husband was doing jihad. For the sake of Allah, and his name is Uriah, the son of Hanan. And David, he wrote to the emir of the invasion of jihad to send him to carry the tablets. And then David, he said to himself, either they will have victory or they will kill him. They will kill who? The husband. And see so who he died. And then when he died, David, he took her. Do you see it? This is your Islamic reference. Let us see here. I will use Google Translation. Hmm. You said to me we don't have that, right? Okay. He sent her husband to die. And he was spying at the women, taking a shower. He liked her. He decided to send the husband to fight and give him the most dangerous mission so either he die and now you have the wife you know here we go it's in the front of you so there was a bird he approached to take it he flew and you know he looked up to see him and he looked over a woman who was washing and she saw him are you there foxy And I will give you the link. Here we go. Let me post the link for you. And then he sent the husband to go and war and die. Okay, what is the punishment for David in Islam? What was was uh, was David as a bad person? In the Bible, yes, he was a bad person. 
God, he condemned him in many verses. Where is your God condemning David? This verse even is speaking that women are goat. Women are what? Goat. If we go here to show you the original verse, you will see it's here. It says, And by the way, I'm waiting for you to show me the verse in the Quran about rape. And where is the punishment for having sex with your sister? In the Bible we have. Having sex with your mother. I will show you that there is no punishment for having sex with your mother in Islam. No punishment whatsoever. And I just showed you here that a man, he can have sex with his daughter if she is daughter from adultery. However, where is the punishment for sex with your daughter even if she is not from adultery? Can you show me a verse saying that? And the top of that, your prophet, he taught you to have sex doing muta. Is that marriage? Is it three nights, three days is marriage? Since when? And you Muslim, you call it temporary marriage, a contract of sex. Actually, you define it as, or you give it definition as, renting. Uh, This is the story of David. <laughs> Lou, this is my brother. He has 99 goat. Women are goat. I read the interpretation for it and die laughing. And what kind of verse this verse is? I mean, if somebody read it, what is what we understand from this? I mean, this is God is talking. Who is the goat here? And what is the connection for verse number one, verse before it and the verse after it? And how this has become about David having sex with a woman, you know, and she's married. You tell me. Stupidity is amazing. Garbage in, garbage out. Can we say something else? Hmm. Let us try actually to see what Ibn Kathir he say about this verse. Just, you know, for the sake of curiosity. Shall we? <laughs> okay, hold on. Chapter 38, verse number 23. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. Stupidity. A Muslim is speaking about morality. You're right. A man who can sleep with four wives, how those they became. Isn't it this is sex out of marriage? Yes. David, he had many wives, but none of them, God, he told him, go and have many wives. He was acting as a king. And that's why he was crying for the Lord to forgive him. Your prophet, he made verses saying, any Muslim woman, she can take off her panty to the prophet. So he can do boom with her. Any women. Let us go here and see what interpretation of Ibn Kathir will say. Hold on. So we can laugh. And now what you will say, you will say, oh, those mascaras are a bunch of liars. They are fraud. I agree. But anything is embarrassing. You try to run away from it. It's an irony that a Muslim or a Muslim is speaking about fornication and adultery when their prophet is the biggest adulterous sex maniac ever. All right. Uh, let us see. Hmm.
here is speaking about David is asking for forgiveness. Forgiveness from what? Any Muslim can tell us? David, he prostrated as act of repentance. Okay, repentance from what? Any Muslim can tell us? What he did exactly? Anyone? Any Muslim have an answer? No answer as usual. Anything else, uh, Foxy? Anything else you like to say? Because I like the morality of the Prophet. Like, you know, the Prophet, when he was having sex with Mary the Copt, and she is not his wife, he was having sex with her according to what? Okay. Okay, guys, hold on me. Okay, he killed the man to have sex with his wife. <laughs> But you are the one who said we don't have such a story. But what is the punishment for David? How come Allah forgive him easy? Okay, what is the punishment? It's you, is it you who says what is the punishment for David? And now you admitted that because he killed a man? Okay, what is the punishment? This is you speaking, you. Shall I give you the, the title of an idiot? Isn't it you who said, okay, what is the punishment for David? He had sex out of marriage. Now we have two problems. We have a problem of sex out of marriage and we have a problem of killing a man. Which one is more important? So what your, what your God do? He said, forgive him. What is the punishment? Did your God give him 100 lashes? Are you there? Foxy? So now you accepted that there's two crimes David he commit. He killed a man to get his wife, and you agree. So he did two crimes. And now you are saying to me what? Allah, he accept his repentance. Okay, thank you very much, Allah. Where is the punishment? Because you are the one who said, where is the punishment? Are you there? And now, as long as you mention this, I want to ask you, what is the punishment for Muhammad for having sex with Mary the Copt? Is Mary the Copt his wife? No. Is she captive from war? The Quran says it's lawful for you to have a captive of war to rape them. But she is not a captive of war. She's just a slave, a gift. There's nowhere in the Quran that says you can have sex with your slave from a gift. Show me the verse. So Muhammad having sex with Mary the Copt according to what? Fornication. According to Islam, this is fornication. Because Malikatul Yamin in Islam is only a captive of war. And Mary the Copt, she is not a captive of war. So now we showed you in the Quran and in the Tafsir that you can have sex with your daughter. And oh, I did not show you the rest. Hold on. What about if a Muslim he have sex with his mother? His mother. What is the punishment? Show me in the Quran. The verse says, if you have sex with your mother, I will do this to you. Let me show you, and you will die laughing. <laughs> People, my friend, I will give you the link. Hold on, let me, uh, let me, uh, 
let me find the link this one I need to shorten it let us see Now she will wish she never mentioned that. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> What's wrong with this internet? Each time I want to open a Muslim website, maybe my security is so high. Nothing is opening. Okay, hold on. Let us see this one. All right. And I will show you with your own reference, with your own book, with your own numbers, what I am saying. Okay. Read carefully with me. Are you there, Foxy? وقال أبو حنيفة لا حد عليه في ذلك ولا حد على من تزوج من أمه التي ولدته وابنته وأخته وجدته وأمته وخالته وبنت أخي وبنت أخته Translation, there is no punishment for a man who he do marry, marry his mother, the one should give birth to him, and his daughter, and his sister, and his grandmother, and his auntie, and the daughter of his brother, and the daughter of his sister. <laughs> no punishment. Al-Muhallal ibn Hazm, volume number 11, page number 23253. Google translation, peace upon you. Because maybe Christian Prince is lying. Maybe he's lying. I mean, come on. I mean, obviously he's lying. Right? Abu Hunayfa said, there is no punishment here, the translation coming as a limit. There is no punishment. There is no had. Had in Arabic can be limit. And in Islamic Sharia law mean penalty. There is no penalty on him for the one who do the following. He married his mother, the one who gave birth to him, and his daughter, and his sister, and his grandmother, and his aunt, and his aunt niece, and his, uh, and uh, sorry, and, and the, the daughter of his brother, and the daughter of his sister. Do you see it? This is your religion, and this is the reference. What do we do now? Where is the morality? Morality girl, you are a Muslim speaking about morality. Is it, what is the morality when your prophet, he order you to give your nipples to a stranger? Where we can find that morality, this appear? You sold it in the market? Morality? <laughs> Look who is talking about morality. Let us see, hold on, give me a second.
it's a very very deceiving claim that you are a person who follow a moral religion you don't have a sense of morality I mean what more having sex the Quran says don't have sex with your mother but if you do it's okay there's no punishment otherwise show me I'm here I'm listening to you you want to call me I will I will you know no problem anyone want to enter upon Aisha he have to go and suckle the nipples of her sisters or the nieces this is religion this is morality is that what Jesus order Foxy are you willing to practice what your prophet taught you that you will give your nipples to anyone Because he wanna sit with you in the bus. Okay, hold on. Mustafa, he speak. Just to show you how smart uh, Muhammad and are. Mustafa, he get me busted. Listen carefully. Thank you, Mustafa, for what you posted. Genius, genius, gene and yes together. Look, Mustafa speak. He says, CP. I will show you it is in the Quran five minutes later this is tafsir so you strip it are you saying to me that the seer is giving something explaining the Quran but the Quran is not saying that I mean who is a stupid here you or the tafsir so if the Quran if the verse in the Quran explained by Muslim scholar that David have sex with the women and he killed her husband and you are saying that this is not in the Quran. So why are you Muslim explain the Quran by saying that? Who is the donkey here? Are you there, Mustafa? Who is the donkey? Let us say I say to you, explain to me the verse, and then you say this verse talking about eating zucchini. Okay, but why you are saying this is about eating zucchini if it's not about eating zucchini? Are you there, Mustafa, or are you going to hide your tail now? Now you will play dead. Ahmad Ahmad saying that somebody, his name is Zach, uh, Zachariah, he raped women. Your prophet is a rapist. And your prophet, he told people to be their wife. In the Quran, chapter 4, verse number 34. And your prophet is the one who commit all the crimes you mentioned. Hmm. okay guys she is posting for me saying don't approach illegal sexual intercourse okay what is the punishment you said to me there's a punishment in the Quran we were talking about somebody he lay down with the women you forgot okay a man he lay down with his mother what is the punishment I showed you verses saying that you can have sex with your daughter if she is a daughter from adultery. Are you there, Foxy? And by the way, Al Isra is not Al Isra. This is the chapter of Bani Israel. You must have changed the name later. And I ask you, Muhammad, he had sex with Mary the Copt. How the Quran says, don't have sex out of marriage. And do you Muslims even have marriage? What marriage? It's a contract for sex. When you're a prophet, you see, when the Muslim they say we are, we have legal marriage. What is what is marriage in Islam? There's no marriage. It is a renting. If we go right now and check what the Muslims say about what they call marriage, let us see. Give me a second. Are you there, Mustafa? Five uh, five minutes later, a Christian prince he show us tafsir. <laughs> Genius, idiot. Before we go there, hold on. Is giving your nipples to a strange man, and he is a man, is an act of morality, Foxy? 
I want your answer before we move to that topic. Foxy, is it an act of morality that you're a prophet ordering you to give your nipples to a stranger? And he's a man. I'm waiting. I'm, out, I'm waiting, Muslims. No verse in the Quran says you can sleep with your mother. Stop lying. I just showed you your. your this is the Hanafi. This is the the Muslim Sunni. They have four sects, and, and and even the Jafari and the Hanafi and all of them. They agree that there is no. Okay, show me the punishment. No problem. Show me the punishment of having sex with your mother in Islam. Yes, is that fair? I showed you your scholar saying there's no penalty for a man having sex with his mother and his daughter and his sister and his the niece and then from his sister or the niece from his brother. Now show me the penalty for having sex with your mother in the Quran. I can show it to you from the Bible. Jesus in the Bible he was called, he called then Jews dogs. Okay, well he did not. You are a liar. By the way, your Quran says that we are animals. Do you want to show you? We are the same as cattle. So if you are saying Jesus was bad by saying that, well, your God, he says, Kal -an you are an idiot. There's a chapter, it's called Al-An'am. You are a donkey. Your, your prophet, he says, the Jews are the same as donkeys. They carry books, they don't understand it. But, but the funny himself, he cannot read one letter on them. Now let's go back. Foxy, what is the punishment for having sex with your mother? For a man having sex with his mother. What literally, and not what the tafsir says. Can't you Muslim make a full sentence? All the penalty you Muslims have, you took it from us, if you have any. What is the verse of, what is the punishment for, you know, the uh, foxy, she said 100 lashes, but this is for single women. What is the married women punishment? According to Muslims, this is for single women. Okay, what is the punishment for married women? Huh? Surah 4, verse number 23. Okay, hold on, guys. Surah 4, verse 23. Uh, uh, Maku, you are an Iraqi. Why you, why you are deleting them? Uh, admin, don't delete people who call me an idiot. Okay, what do you want him to say? He's a Muslim. How I'm going to copy his text now? Each time I want to text somebody, the admins, they delete the guy. Those are our gold. Are you ripping me off from my gold? The idiot just he caught for us, chapter 4, verse 23. And what you did, you took it off. Let us go to chapter 4, verse 23. So we will die laughing. Are you sure you want me to show you chapter 4, verse 23? Are you sure? Let us see. You will cry in a second. There it says you can have sex with married women. Read carefully. It's forbidden for you, your mother, your daughter, your sister. Okay, what is the punishment for raping, raping them or having sex with them? We showed you the scholars saying there's no punishment. It's forbidden for you. But if you do, it's okay. Okay, now let us continue. Verse number 24, and it's forbidden for you married women except you can have sex with married women. Do you see it? All right. And then we showed you that in, in chapter 25, verse number 54, it says, According to the interpretation, having sex with your daughter from adultery is not forbidden. So, 
and it says there and this is why it go, it doesn't go under the verse chapter 4 verse number 23 so you said to me it's forbidden to have sex with your mother but there is no punishment where is the punishment and then in different verse you must have explained saying you can have sex with your daughter if she is a daughter from adultery any muslim didn't i show you the reference it says that you can have sex with your daughter from adultery okay it's forbidden for you to have sex with your daughter right okay what is the punishment for having sex with your daughter in islam are you saying to me islam did not mention really a punishment for such a thing your God, Allah, have time to tell us about the ant who spoke to, uh, to the ants, but he have no time to tell us, okay, what is the punishment for such a thing? Any Muslim? We have punishment for this in the Old Testament. Where is the punishment for you? I'm waiting. Uh, Malik, don't talk about joke, my friend. You are a Muslim and you are talking about a joke. Is it a joke that Allah will make your penis endless? Or this is for real? So you are five foot and your penis is in China? How you can walk with it? That is a joke. Not the admins. Actually, the admins, uh, you know, I, I have to say thanks for them because I'm a very, uh, like, I'm being aggressive with them, you know. Sometimes, you know, I'm losing my patient, but not because they are bad. They are doing their job. People using bad words, they, they are deleting their comments. But because I'm hungry, to you Muslims debating me. Okay, I'm going to open Palto. Who wanna call me? Okay, it's a clear says forbidden for you, you stupid idiot. What is the punishment? Are you stupid or what? Where is the punishment for having sex with your mother? It's forbidden for you to have sex. Okay, I show you different verses. You can if she has daughter from adultery. What's wrong with you? As long it's forbidden, that means it should be equal with law. And the law says, if you do this, the punishment is this. But if you say it's forbidden, but there's no penalty, that means this is fiction forbidden. Hey kids, don't eat candies. Hmm. Okay, are you going to punish us if we eat candies? And then I go quiet. Silence. So I will eat candies. Where is the punishment? Where is the verse in the Quran? It says, if a married woman have sex with married men, punish them. What you were saying? The goat ate it? Why do I have to repeat myself a thousand times? Where is the punishment? Okay, it's forbidden. It's forbidden for you to have sex with your daughter. Why Muhammad, he had sex with his daughter? Zainab ibn Tujahsh. His daughter-in-law. Are you there? Yeah, what is the punishment for eating pork? For us, first of all, who said to you that it's forbidden in Islam to eat pork? Who is the stupid who said that to you? Isn't it the Quran says that the food of the Christians and the Jews is halal for you? Isn't it the Quran says? You can eat their food, all their food, all their food is made lawful for you. All the food. So how the pork is forbidden, but you can eat our food. Are you an idiot? Maybe your God do not know what we have in our kitchen. Wonderful, guys, uh, uh, Foxy, she got me busted. Look how she got me busted. <clears throat> be my witness intelligence 
she said you show no verse from the Quran you read tafsir you eat it is tafsir is Quran when you read the tafsir tafsir what what does tafsir mean explanation explanation of what so if I am not showing Quran why in the tafsir is explaining the Quran saying you can have sex with your daughter <laughs> stupidity and then she said which is not the same as Quran okay hold on we will go with you where in the Quran it says that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit? Can you show me a verse It says that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit? They will say, no, it's not there. Okay, where are you get from? You say, from Tafsir. <laughs> Hypocrite. Tafsir is an opinion, or all of Islam is an opinion. That's why you have thousands of sects. Even your prophet, he says, my religion will be seven, my people will be 73 sect. One of them is right, the rest is wrong. And the one who is going to be right is the minority, not the majority, which means you cannot be the Sunni, it can't be the Shia. Maybe the Ahmadiyya. Because they have to be minority. I'm waiting now, so what we would do? You can't even find such a hadith. I just showed you that your prophet, he ordered women to give their breast to a stranger. Is that fornication or not? I showed you your prophet, he ordered men and women to enjoy three days, three nights. Is that fornication or not? Here we go. You can't find the hadith. Let us see if we can find it. And I will show you even the Muslim false translation. Read carefully. Allah Apostle said, if a man and a woman agree, agree for what? Between two brackets, marry? Where is the word marry in the Arabic? It says here, If a man and a woman, they agree to do boom, boom for three days, three nights. If they like to increase, they increase. You are the one who starts speaking about morality. This is your prophet. No, you rely on tafsir. You are a liar. You everything in Islam rely on tafsir. Otherwise, you have no religion. And this is why you I, I, okay. If you don't rely on tafsir, why you need to, why we have it? Why you have it? <laughs> Do you see how they lie? They're ashamed of their religion. He added, what we have this have to do with the lizard now? Are you there, Foxy? I want you to explain to me how the Prophet, he allow you to go in the elevator and somebody asks you to give you $10 and you take off your pants. That is morality. What is the punishment if a man, he hire a woman for sex? Aren't you the one who says, is that exchange for sex? Isn't it you who start saying that if a man, he lay down with a woman and he have sex with her, and obviously it's not rape, he have to marry her, but if the family refuse, still he have to pay her dowry. And you are the one who said, is that sex for money exchange? This is your religion. It's sex for money exchange. That's not in the Bible. In the Bible it says if she if, if the family refuse to marry the man, still he have to pay her he have to pay her dowry. But in your religion, you can get paid for taking off your panty. It's in front of you. And this is Quran chapter 4, verse 24. So what we will do now? Pork is haram? Nowhere in the Quran it says pork is haram. They are stupid liars. Let me show you the verse. The Quran says, don't eat pork. But if you are hungry, you can. So it's not haram. <laughs> well, all people, they eat when they are hungry. They don't eat when they are not hungry. Read carefully. How it's haram, but if you are hungry, eat it. And how it's haram, and I made the, the food of the Christians lawful for you. Huh? It says you can eat it. All right, okay, the seer is explanation. Thank you very much. No problem, Foxy. So, the, guys, the, the, the scholars of Muslims who made tafsir, they are donkeys. I agree with you. Now, you are the smart. Can you give me the penalty for having sex with the mother? I'm waiting for you. 
where is the penalty I can show you the verses where it says you will have penalty if you have sex with your mother where is the penalty for having sex with forget about having sex with mother show me the penalty for having sex with married women in the Quran I'm waiting where is the verse to punish a married woman having sex I'm waiting that there is a punishment in the Quran for having sex with married women Any Muslim can help? Anyone? Uh, ben Yehudi, please be careful with your words, my friend. If you want your guys, if you want your words to go through YouTube, don't use bad language. YouTube will hold it by itself, so you are typing for nothing. YouTube will hold any language which is not proper yet to go through. So I'm waiting for the Muslims. Is it morality that a Muslim woman, she is adult, she give her breast to adult man? Is that moral? Is it moral to rent a woman for one day or two days? If we ask the Muslims, okay, explain to us the muta. The muta, explain to us the muta, what they will say. Look, let me show you. You will die laughing. This is the Muslim explanation, not mine. Not what? Not mine. Read carefully. Alislam.org. This is Islamic website, not mine. The pillars of muta. Even muta have a pillar. What muta mean? Pleasure. What pleasure? We are talking about sex, sexual pleasure. Look how Islam and Muslim they present for us their religion. What is muta? The answer is read carefully. In some work, a special term is applied to women who participate in muta. Mustajra in Arabic, mustajra mean rented, rented women. Are you foxy available for rent? Foxy, are you available for rent? If you are, put your phone number. This is religion and this is morality. Rented women. And you are the one talking about sex for money exchange. And look what it says here. Muta is considered as a kind of rental because general man's basic aim is the kind of this marriage. Marriage is a sexual enjoyment of the women. And in return of his enjoyment, the women receive certain amount of money or property. Do you see it? Foxy, you are a very decent woman. You are a Muslim. Do you practice renting? Do you have like an office we can contact or something? If I go right now to Indonesia, shall I open a renting office for Muta? Hello? Christian Prince, I just heard the news that you opened an office for Muta. Uh, Zachar Naik, how you heard the news, man? I just opened it a second ago. First of all, those the news, they spread like fire, and I love it. Actually, I'm going to be your first customer. Okay, hold on, Zachar Naik. First of all, you are in different country. Christian Prince, you can't tip her for me. You can use Amazon Prime and you can't tip her for me. 
What do you mean I can ship her form you for in Amazon? We cannot. We, those are not in Amazon. This is like you know, like in the street office. It's not like we don't have a shipping container. Breath and breath. You have to be moderate, and you have to listen to some science. They 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 can't ship it for you. They're the company it's called Tesla, and Tesla they said they can send any woman for you in the middle, even to the moon. So don't give me execute. Now give me the list and the prices. Hey, okay, Zach and Nike. Do you want her young or old? Skinny or big and beautiful? Do you want her bald or with long hair? And for how many hours? This is religion. Prince and Prince. First of all, you are stupid. This is a very decent behavior. If I'm not loving the honey, I need to go into her face. And instead of going to the most of it, this is the only thing that is Hey, Zach, I did not hear the last part. First of all, I don't have the time I'm saying. Secondly, the prophet said. So if the prophet said, obviously it's good. Are you there, Foxy? Zach and Mike on the phone. Do you want us to give you give him his, your name? Foxy, what happened? This is your religion, the decency. You want to participate? Do you like to put your name there in the list? Read carefully. Some people are saying that. In some works, special term is applied. It's a work. You see, 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 see look at this. It's a work in some work. Is this is a Christian Prince website? No. Is that the Christian Prince saying it? No. It's your religion. The prophet, he never used muta. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I will make you famous. What if I show you that your prophet, he practiced muta? In the front of everybody. Are you willing to call me Mr. Cairo? Cairo? And I will show you that the prophet, he used to do muta. And he and the Muslims, they do muta even after his death. And do you want me to show you that your prophet is a crazy man? He allow muta, he forbid muta, he allow muta, he forbid muta, he allow muta, he forbid muta. And obviously after he die, the Muslim, they practice, the caliphate, they practice even after his death. So how it's forbidden? What do you say? If I show you the reference. And if the muta is bad and your prophet forbid it, how he allowed it? It's Quran. How you can forbid Quran? Was Muhammad correcting Allah? And let me show you that your prophet, he did muta. <laughs> let us go to the hadith so we can laugh. Is that your prophet or someone else? <sighs> Look at the false translation. Where is Hajj Tamattu? Where is it? says we practice the muta with the Prophet. There was revealed the verse of the Matta, the muta in Hajj. And, okay. And we practice it with the Prophet. And by the way, here it doesn't even say anything about Hajj. It says. The muta came down in the book of Allah and we practice it with the Prophet. Is that like a sex group or something? Group sex? So what do you mean he did not practice it? And even it says, And no Quran came to forbid it. No Quran came to make it illegal. Nor did the Prophet forbid it till he died do you see it he did not forbid it. so what we would know hmm. and if it is bad why allah he make you do it
I mean, it's bad, right? And in different hadith says that we committed mata muta with the Abu Bakr in the time of Abu Bakr in the time of Omar. Let me show you the hadith. I mean, look at them. They are the one who came to us to speak about morality, and now they are trying to run away. <clears throat> All right, let us see. Uh, the hadith says that the one who forbid to do it is Omar, not your prophet. And who is Omar the prophet? Why? Because some story they say that Omar he have sex with his own daughter. He did muta with her. Some they say even his mother. Read carefully. It says here that uh, from Ibn Abbas, from 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 that a muta and the benefit of uh, you know doing boom boom with the women, with women, uh, he came and we did it with the Prophet. And then it says, and the one who forbid it, and we did it during the lifetime of Muhammad. Do you see it? So during the lifetime of Muhammad, it wasn't forbidden. We have been doing it during the lifetime of Allah Messenger. All his life, you Muslim rent women. You go to the store, you bring a woman, you rent her for five, six hours, ten days, and Alhamdulillah. All in the life of Muhammad. And then who is forbidden it? In the time of Omar, it. And then Omar, he forbid, it, forbid us to do so. Is Omar your God? Any Muslim? Don't talk about morality, you don't have any. Anyone have an answer? Refute me, we'll go no problem. Well, you want to show me a hadith that it's forbidden? So, what is this? This is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih. What you would do? Hmm? Any Muhammadan. You know, there is no way that a decent man he will allow such a thing for a second. Let us say, for the sake of argument, later he did uh, forbid it for the sake of argument. But how you allow sin anyway? And you say this is coming from God, because remember this is Quran, chapter four, verse twenty-four. So Allah have a chapter to allow fornication, and this fornication is not even girlfriend boyfriend. It is prostitution, because. You are paying the women for the sex. It's not a man and women, eh, like they like each other and they sleep with each other. Okay, boyfriend, girlfriend. No. It's a fornication for business. I say to Jabir, blah, 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 okay, about the issue of muta, blah, 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 that we did it with the Prophet, and then when the Caliphate, you know, we did the, uh, the muta with the Prophet. And we did it in the time of Abu Bakr. And we did it in the time of Omar. Read carefully. Tamattana ma Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Read, read, if you know Arabic. Qala Affan. Affan wa ma'i Abi Bakr. 
فلما ولي عمر رضي الله عنه خطب للناس فقال إن إن القرآن هو القرآن. He said to them, Quran is Quran. And there is two kinds of muta. One is for Hajj and one the muta for women, which is stupid to say anyway. Okay. It's Quran, what we would do now. The Caliphate, he said, the Quran is still is a Quran. Okay, the Quran says, do muta. The Messenger of Allah is the Messenger of Allah. Okay, we know that. Thank you very much for telling us. And there was two muta at that time of the Messenger of Allah. One of them was the muta of Hajj, i.e. 10 feet were stupid. And the other is muta of women. In the time of the Prophet, he's saying that, which means always in the life of Muhammad, never forbidden. And remember, those are your Muslim books, Sunni books, and it says Sahih, Sahih Muslim. So what we would do? In different hadith it says that we did muta in the time of Abu Bakr and almost half of the time of Umar was a caliphate, which means half time passed and still Umar practicing muta. Let us see if we can find the hadith. Uh, this is the same one. Anyway, we have it in Arabic if we have to. No. The question is, those who speak about morality, where was the morality of Allah when he allowed women to rent their private part? And if you later try to fix it, what kind of God he fix his own mistake? Did Allah make a mistake by allowing the muta? It is a prostitution, officially, legally practiced, and you yet you call it marriage? What kind of marriage this marriage is, and what kind of God this God is? And what kind of religion, with no shame, they say this is rented women? How you say that? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? I mean, how this explanation even is exist by Muslims who they give us a speeches about we are women, our women are protected. And then we find that Muslim women, they are rented. We find that Muslim women, they give their nipples to strangers, men, strange man, he knock, he come to your door. He knock at the door, he says, I wanna suckle you. And the Muslim scholars, they have tons of fatwa, the prophet said so. And then they come to you and they give you speeches about morality and decency. Divorce by text messages. Why? Because the woman, she is an employee. Can the woman divorce her husband by text messages? No, she cannot. The employer, he can fire you. You cannot fire the employer. Islam is sexual religion even heaven what is heaven you talk about morality what is morality in heaven even heaven is nothing but sex even your heaven is nothing but faith they said to the prophet how we are going to have sex in the heaven he said dahman dahman do you know what dahman dahman mean you push hard hard how hard prophet he said dahman dahman do you want me to draw it for you? He will go crazy. Question, brother. Nikahul mu'minina azwajahum fi jannah. You see the Muslim, they remember, they said to us the word nikah mean marrying. Look what it says. To do nikah to your wife. Okay, she is your wife. How would you nikah to her? 
if the word nikah mean marriage, then this is a stupid Arabic. Then it says nikahul minina azwajahum fi jannah. That's mean nikah mean to f them. So question: What is the explanation for this hadith reported by the Prophet? The Prophet was asked. Is the people of the Jannah are going to do boom boom to each other? You see, yatanakah, not marry to f each other. He said yes. He said with the penis which will never go limp. la and the sexual desire will never stop. Dahman, dahman. Do you see it? Let us see if we can find it in the English translation website. Uh, we cannot find it here. Then we have to use uh, and by the way, this is Sahih. We have to use Google Translation. Let us do that. Google Translation. First, let me post the link for you. Hold on. Give me a second. I need to shorten the link because it have uh, in the title it have uh, Arabic and YouTube will not accept it. Uh, link short morality morality brother this religion of morality a prophet is asking him are we going to f each other there prophet said yes alhamdulillah a lot of effing he never stopped doing boom boom uh-huh and how we would do it prophet dahman dahman that's deep that's very deep you must be proud, you know, if I, if you are, if I'm a Muslim, I will be proud now. Here we go. This is the link, shortened link for the hadith, for the website. This is, remember, this is a scholar, they're asking a question. Okay, are they going to F each other in the heaven? The answer. Let us put it there, and now we will use the translation by Prophet Google, peace be upon him. We start from the title just to show you that the word nikah does not mean marriage, proving the liars. Here we go. It says, Nikahul mu'minin azwajahum fil jannah. You see that the Google translation will translate the word nikah as marriage because this is what the Muslim claim. So this is the normal translation of Google, but it doesn't make sense. You don't marry your wife in heaven. If the word nikah mean marry, then it's, the, the title will be marrying your wife in heaven. You don't do that. It says nikah al mumin, which means if in each other. And the hadith will explain it. Read carefully. Translate using Google. Okay. It says here, believer marry their spouse in heaven. Yeah. Does it say that? No, it says marry. It, it, it says to if them. How we can prove it? Read carefully. They ask the prophet. Are we going to have sexual intercourse? This is the question. So here the translation is wrong. Correct? Are they going to have sexual intercourse, not marry? Nikah. So the question is, are we going to do nikah to our women in heaven? He said, yes. With a members, member, male member, we will never get um, limp will never go soft and the lost will never cease do you see it shahwa lost perfect translation and he continues saying dahman dahman here the translation is stupid it's saying blood blood no dahman dahman i will make the sound and you imagine it without speaking dirty please that is dahman dahman this is your religion and then the answer, thanks to Allah. Yes, this hadith is sahih. It is sahih. Where is the people of morality? Dahman Dahman, read carefully. Dahman Dahman is intensity of intercourse, intense intercourse. Do you see it? Here, Dahman Dahman means to F her. The translation says to marry her. But as you see, it says intercourse. 
So what the Muslim they say that the word nikah means to marry, it's a lie. To if her. And here they explain to you that this is, will give you a perfect pleasure because it's so, you know, we don't want to go more. You know, you know the thing, George Biden, you know, Joe Biden, if we give this speech to George Biden, he was, uh, by the way, Obama, he will make a program to speak about, uh, the whole show is about Muslims. So he interview Muslims to make people love Islam. I mean, look at this idiot. You know, when, when we say Obama is a Muslim, people, they say, ah, Islamophobia. The first TV show ever he will do, I mean, you are a president, why you are doing TV show? They paid him money. Maybe the Saudi, maybe the Qatari. Allah knows best how much. And what is the show about? Promoting Islam. Which way? When? In Ramadan. <laughs> but are you going to make Islam better, look better? Good luck, Obama. We are here. And we will make you look like a joke. The same as your prophet Muhammad. Now, do we have any Muslims still want to talk about morality in Islam? Actually, not long time ago, there's a Muhammadan. He called me and we spoke about what the tafsir is saying about sex in heaven, where it says that you can have sex with your mother, your daughter, your sister, I don't know if anyone remember it. Mm. I'm trying to find it. <clears throat> he said, yes, so what if having sex, the Quran says whatever you wish. I'm trying to find it, let's see. He said, what part you don't understand, Christian Prince? What part you don't understand? Okay, and your channel? Okay, well, I don't know, we need the link. Can you give me the title? <clears throat> Can you give me the title, my friend, the one who said it's in my channel? I know you cannot post the link, but you can post the title so I can search it. Yeah, Saq mean leg, Saq mean leg. The word Saq mean leg, mean leg. Ramadan is beautiful. Ramadan is where people get sick from spending money and from eating and from sleeping. Actually, according to studies, Ramadan is the month of heart attack. Ramadan is the month of heart attack and crimes, high crimes. You can go and there's tons of study made by Muslims about that in the month of Ramadan there's a very high number of heart failure because they, they don't fast, they eat. They don't fast. 
they do eat all right okay let us see thank you uh, uh bmw oh you are bmw you know the guy from indonesia he promised me bmw for me where is my car five bmw you give me five bmw and then he died okay uh why muslims leave islam okay is that the one when i search for the same title i see many name many hmm. which video is that i know there's many videos is that the one the one at the top it's if it says vice news no which one Ayub, I'm a liar prove me wrong do you want to call me Ayub? even though I'm here for many hours I would love to take your call do you like to call me and tell me why we are lying we lie about what in which way can you tell us the lies Yeah, I don't see where where is your video, my friend. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, in this video, he said, "So what if a man have sex with his mother?" The Quran says, uh, "Everything you wish, anything you wish, anything you wish." In Islam, it's not a secret. Islam disrespect women and even disrespect men because this God, he made our existence for one purpose. It's called penis and vagina. Animals. That's what animals do. Eat, have sex. Eat, have sex. What do you do in heaven? Sex. What do you do? Sex. Nothing else. Uh, discussion with CP. Okay, I missed that part. Hold on. Let me search for it. Thank you, BMW, again. Okay. Okay. Is that the one you have a fruit, a grapefruit in the title? All right. <clears throat> okay, we have a bill in the you beginning. Go to hell. You say to me that you Muslims believe in one God. Obviously, Muhammad here, he put the name, his 33. name, and his obedience equal to obedience of Allah. Because you cannot obey Allah alone, you have to obey Allah and Muhammad. I know, you're saying that. Isn't it, this is shirk? Okay, what is the part, the Muslim he called? So what I will do, I am going, uh, let us see. Isn't it, this is obvious? I mean, what kind of a prophet this prophet is? Uh... Wait, so this verse is saying that he can postpone the turn of uh Hold on. of which chapter he needs such a privilege. Uh can I see that verse? Maybe this is not the one, my friend. When he is doing ihram, he can have sex, but Muslims cannot. At al Qasam Azwaj, he used to take an oath. Number nine, he can let us see. He asked God for forgiveness. He did not say that God told me to look at this woman, uh, this woman, and he and, and, and sleep with her. Yeah, this is yeah. This is not the one we are looking for. Amazing teaching of the Messiah. This the one we are looking for is where the guy he says, "So what if you have sex with your mother? So what? Even he have he said, so what if we have sex uh, with Zach and Naik? Because the Quran says whatever you wish, you know." Yeah, this is not the video we are looking for. Unless at the end we have the caller. He said, forgive to all. Uh, let us see. Child of God does not mean that God has. All right, this is not the one. Anyway. Uh, having according to Islam. Okay, let us see. Give me a 
second. Can you hear me? Yes, mute you too, please. Sorry? Mute YouTube so we don't have double voice. What do you want to say to us, Mr. Yes. Russ? Why are you upset? Yeah, this is the one. You say you, 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 the you said you said this Nothing guy is, is a fraud. Sin in heaven. Huh? Nothing is sin in heaven. Thank you very much. That's what I'm saying. In the heaven you can have sex with the goat. It's fine for you, right? Not nothing sin. There's no nothing sin. You can sin. you yes. can have sex with your mother. Okay. Yes. Well, okay. So you can have, you are proud about having sex with your mother. You and your father, you will have sex with the same woman, which is your mother. Anything, anything is fun. Everything comes from God in heaven. No problem. So in the heaven of Allah, you will have a threesome, you and your father and your mother in the bed. Okay. And you don't see that there's something wrong with that. What do you not understand about nothing is sin? Well, I'm, sin, I'm just trying to understand, my friend. You see, sin. I'm not smart Listen, like you. We think it's sin due to our social okay. structure. If, if, the, if Zach and I, I'm not trying to insult, by the way. I'm not trying to insult. Don't take me wrong, please. You know, I have not. I don't know you. you. Okay, no, I'm not trying to insult. If Zach and Naik, he want to have sex with your sister, and you like your sister, so are you willing you and Zach and Naik to have share to share your sister together? In this case, Zach and Naik mm. in heaven, mm. he would have a situation in which he could. He could. So you and your sister and Zach and Naik in one bed. But it it wouldn't be my. It would be it wouldn't be my sister. Why not? In heaven. Think of it as anything can happen. Oh, anything can happen. So your sister, it's possible that you and Zach and Naik having sex with your sister in the same time. That's amazing pleasure. I mean, what they can say. This is beautiful, my friend. I'm really in touch. I've, I'm thinking now to convert to Islam. And can you tell me what is the wisdom behind this? Why? Why you, your sister and Zach and Naik and you in the bed and you don't see that there's something wrong with that? Why do you think there's no, nothing wrong with that? Look, okay. I, due, due to our social like structure and mm. morals, yes, mm. it's wrong. Mm. But when you get to heaven, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Hmm. Yes. What if what if somebody want to have sex with the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him? If it's in heaven, yes. So the Prophet, he will take off his panty, he will bend over, and we will see somebody doing him from his behind. In my in my heaven, yes. Okay, that's wonderful. And uh, do, do you think you will be hurt if somebody do it to you from your because you're a man? I mean. I think that would be hurting real badly. Do you think Allah will ease your anus pain? No, no listen. It, that person, whoever who wants to do it, mm -hmm. he would uh, he would be able to do it in his own uh, time and space. The time and space, no problem. But he need his penis too. So you are a man now, and the man he want to do sex to you, and now you know because you are a man. Unless you are used to it, I mean, it's going to hurt badly. Do you think Allah will make it easier for you when he, when a, when Abdul he do? I would not. I would not be the one that he does it to. I'll be. Why? Uh, you you like to do it to men. You don't like men to no, do it no, to no, you. No, 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 no. It'd be a different me in a different time and space. Ah, so your anus would be bigger in the heaven. Okay, I got that. No, so, no, no, no. So what no, do you mean? I am different me. You are saying different me. I don't know. A me in a different time and space. I, I understand different time and space. I get that, you know. I, what? Okay, explain to us different time and space. What does that mean? Let us see uh, what, what I try okay. to say. For example, you can have a dream about someone, mm -hmm. but that someone may, it's not the person in real life, real time. Oh, okay. So you can dream about someone, not necessarily he's from real time, but he will become real for you, right? Yes. Okay. So what if you dream about something real? You can dream about someone real, right? Uh, yeah, yeah yes. okay. So if you have a dream that you have sex with Muhammad Ali Klai, uh, yes, my answer is yes. I just explained to you. Look like you are waiting for it, like because you said, like, yeah, yes, like, wow, man, sir, mute. <laughs> did, you notice what, did you notice what he said? Oh, yeah, yes, <laughs> yeah, yes, uh, yeah. Oh boy, I apologize if you are a Christian listening to this garbage, but in our channel we speak about garbage. Sadly, this is my job.
to speak about the garbage of Islam. This is Islam. A guy, he's calling me a fraud. Look, he was he was going crazy. This guy he keep calling me fraud, liar, blah 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 blah. And he wanna to talk to me. I wanna get you busted. And now he get me busted. Can you hear me? Yes, mute YouTube, please. Sorry? Mute YouTube so we don't have double voice. What do you want to say to us, Mr. Yes. Russ? Why are you upset? You say you, you, you said you said this Nothing guy is, is a fraud. Sin in heaven. Huh? Nothing is sin in heaven. Thank you very much. Yeah. So he was calling me all kinds of names and now he called me and he got me busted. By the way, I don't see many people downloading the video. Please download it, change the title, make it something else. Like explain more, you know. Use your imagination. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Download the video because those are those videos are priceless. All the video we made, debate and Muslims are priceless because they can teach you the truth about Islam, reality, not the article written by professional lying to you. This is the true Islam. This is reality. There's no makeup. There's no editing for the videos. This is real. You know those who go and make a video. Like there's a guy he says ten time ten fact about Islam and all the lies come, and they spend like ten hours making that video, and the video is you know five stupid minutes, none of them is true. We don't do that here. We do the fact check. Everything we say here is a fact check, and you are the witness for that. And now later, watch what the Muslim will say. You did not answer us. After all of this, how many how long we are here? You did not answer us. I'm here for three hours, 14 minutes. Yesterday for almost four hours. And by the way, there's a guy, he says, who in the world can watch for hours? And here you notice how people, they are ungrateful. I mean, I spend, my my back is hurting. I have a pain in my, in my, in my muscles already. I told you before, you know, I was doing some sport, speaking to Allah, jumping in the air, you know, doing like karaoke. Ching -kong. And like when I made the who of oh, oops, 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 like okay, it hurt. So I like I'm not doing now like like all the karaoke stuff, you know. Yeah, I can jump like in the Chinese movie, you know, they walk over the tree, man. I wanted to do that. So I like jump from a tree to tree and then I fell down, like unbelievable. Anyway, so this is a true story, by the way. Sahir Bukhari. Uh, uh, so he said. Who have time to watch video for four hours? I said, I have time to serve. You don't have time to watch. Go watch kitchen recipe. And honest to my God, my back is hurting me from sitting in this chair because of the pain I have due to this muscle. Uh, what they call it? Muscle what? I know they have a name for it in, in English. Yeah. Yeah, I play, I play Kung Fu, you know? You know, I will tell you how I, I learned to do Kung Fu. I was, uh, like when I was very young, this is like last year, you know, I was 17 last year. Uh, and then I watch a movie about Prophet Moses. When Allah he sent the angel of death to Moses. And Moses, he hit the angel of death on his eye. Boing! His eye came out like a potato. I said to myself, this is what I need to do. I want to learn karaoke. So I will never die because if the angel of death come to me, I will practice my skills with him. Ching! Hoo. The Prophet of Allah, he said, uh, the angel of death came to Moses and said, Respond to the call of Allah, i.e., prepared for death. Like Moses, instead of being scared, or like, you know, Moses was laughing, like, what the heck? So Moses, he gave a blow to the eye of the angel of death and knock it out. <laughs> And the angel went back to Allah. And he said, you sent me to a servant who don't like to die. And he knocked out my eye. <laughs> so I said to myself, that's what I need. 
I mean, we will never die after that. The angel of death come to you. You play karaoke. Ching! The Muslims, by the way, how come Brosty died? I mean, the guy is so good in karaoke. Not like me. I mean, there's no way. <laughs> but we are close. Like almost he was like maybe number three or four after 400 after me. Okay, how he did not beat the angel of death when he come to him? Musa is more powerful than Brosley. And I thought if Allah, he decides something is going to happen. So the guy, he stopped that order of Allah. And he knock. I mean, what kind of a prophet this prophet is? So anyway, I just told you, told you about the Mutavisan behind me learning karaoke. And I think I'm going to open a school to teach you karaoke, you know? Yeah, this is religion, this is a prophet talking. He hit the guy in his eye, boing, 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 boing. I thought the angels, they can destroy armies. And this is the angel of death. We hit him in the eye, we give him, and he gave him a blow. And then the angel, he went to Allah crying like a child, you know. And then Allah, but look, Allah, he have a maintenance uh, department store. Allah restored his eye in its proper place. You know what? I was afraid that Allah would put it in his bum. I mean, this would be embarrassing. But imagine, brother, Allah, he put it in the proper place. What is that? Where is that? His nose, or where is the purple place? So like the eye is out, but still we can fix it. Like, is it LED? He restore it. The eye is out. So if I want to, I don't want to use my skills. I mean, it's already four hours, guys. I hate you, honestly. You know what? I'm going to take a vacation. Not vacation. I mean, I'm, I will try to resist the temptation of going online, honestly because it's really breaking my back many hours. So imagine this. This is the angel of death. Let us uh, draw him. You know, I'm very good in arts, you know. Amazing. Who can do that? Nobody can do this. So this is the angel of death. Musa, he hit him in his eye, and his eye came out like a rasur. Boing, 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 you know? And now here's the eye, the eye, the eye. And now the angel, he went back to Allah, telling him what happened. And Allah, he put the Rasul inside, inside again, brother. I hope now you understand the story and it means good, uh, I mean, it's true story. What do you mean? Jane saying, what is that? This is the art. Oh, I did not tell you. I was like the first artist in the world who drew like a beautiful art, like amazing, like a first a human who did like, uh, all those artists, they are my student. Like as an example, I will name for you some very well-known artists in the world. Uh, uh, the Caliphate Omar is a big artist, you know. Prophet, he used to use the three rocks to clean his bum, and then he used the bum, or bupu, to... Uh, the prophet he used to dry his hand on the wall and you can imagine what kind of art in the house and of the prophet i mean the guy he wash his testicles and then he dry his hands on the wall he what what he dry his wall he dry his hand on the wall so if you go to the if we go to the bedroom of muhammad what we will find marks of hands on the wall wall fingers all over the wall all over the place all over the place all over the place all 
this is the yeah so I mean there is many artists in the world but nobody can defeat what I you know yeah anyway so uh, this is the you know I hope you uh, uh, you know you guys you learn karate karate is very good Prophet Musa was a Jewish and this is a proof that the Chinese they lie when they say that the first one who created karate is uh, the Chinese this is not true he was a Jew Unless the Chinese they used to be Jew, eh, then I will believe them. But according to science of a prophet of Allah, the first one who come with karate and kung fu, not only kung fu, kick fu, it's like a, a kick fu, stupid fu, uh, donkey fu, uh, donkey shot, I mean all kind of fu. All of those is created by prophet uh, of Allah. All the food stuff, you know, you can add whatever you want, like, you know, falafel food, whatever food. So it's a clear evidence that uh, the Kung Fu uh, uh, dot com is coming from uh, Musa's. And Musa's, you can imagine here when the angel of death, he came to him, Musa's, he was laughing like he's looking at him like, <laughs> Habibi, angel, Habibi, you have no idea, Habibi, you are dealing with you, Habibi. You know, if you come to me, Habibi, I'm going to blow your eye, Habibi. And the angel, he's, he's just a cute, he doesn't know what's going on. You have no idea what's, what's going to happen next. So he get closer, get closer. And look, Musa's is waiting like, Okay, get it closer. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come, come. Take my soul from me. Uh huh, uh huh. And the guy he gets so close, you know, like he's in the top of his chest now. He want to take his soul. And Musa's from the middle of nowhere, like doo, doo, doo. foo, 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 boo. Yeah, there's boo at the end, you know, because his eyes came out, and then we heard the sound like boing, 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 you know, in the sword. So it's a true story. This is a very true story, and you. If you don't believe it, the believers will chase you. Who dare actually imagine if you are a Muslim who live in the Middle East and you say, I don't believe this. This is the last day in your life. Very tolerant religion, you know. Who dare to say, I don't believe it? Who? Hmm. All right. Now, you know what? I'm going to take, uh, I, 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 I will take off for tomorrow the day after maybe I come back by Friday let me see how much I can resist coming here and answering the stupid comment you know what I think I should disable the comments because this is what making me come back I mean I don't know what to do help Kung Fu <laughs> all right guys thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you all I uh, love the Muslims but don't I hate them, but for sure don't and never stop exposing the cult of Islam. Islam is a fake, false religion. It's not a religion. It's a, it's a collection of fiction, stupid stories. Uh, they speak too much about morality, but Islam is zero morality. They speak about decency. Islam don't teach decency. What Muhammad, he created are rules to practice sin, not to, cre to practice decency. As we showed you, muta. Dahman, Dahman, sex in heaven, sex with your mother, sex with your daughter. He even himself he practiced that. He have sex with his daughter-in-law. So Islam is a, is not as far away from 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 decency. Islam is the opposite. Everything Muhammad he taught is totally against the teaching of Christ. So with the Christ name we clean all the dirt we spoke about. With the Christ name, let us cleanse the garbage we throw on the table so we can go in peace and those who need to sleep sleep in peace and have a good time pray to the Lord to keep you all safe and healthy and worthy and the Lord is your provider uh, may the Lord provide your family provide your house provide your wife your daughter your son with what they need and the health and the protection with the peace of the Lord leave you and he says my peace I give to you thank you and God bless you all thank you